Hello, hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me. Uh, Telltale Batman is indeed a myth at this point. I really thought I would wake up ready to do it today. I have like brain fog today. I have like woken up and I have those... You know, you know, I don't know, I don't know how to describe the feeling. It just feels like somebody clouded me over the head with a baseball bat while I was asleep, but I didn't wake up. And so now I've woken up confused and I have a sore head. So, uh, Telltale Batman will happen, but I'm going to, you know, climb back onto the horse today, the metaphorical horse, uh, on time at least, well, sort of on time. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, start from the bottom work our way back up uh why play an easy qte game when you can die yeah but it's different because i have to sort of be on my game to record the telltale stuff considering when that gets edited it'll it'll likely be uh, not a voiceover type thing in post uh, it'll be most uh, mostly live action uh, and i don't have the mental capacity to be interesting today uh When's the city footage being edited? It, in my mind, all of that stuff is like a long way away. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at. Does your knight Arkham or does it tell tale? My Arkham doesn't tell tales, I'll tell you that. That's all I can say. Really random, but in Arkham Knight, I always find it really funny when Bruce breaks out the FaceTime with Alfred in a room full of people. There are a few funny things like that in Arkham Knight. I'm, the thing that I'm most surprised about with Arkham Knight is, I think, um, I think I completely disagree with people calling Bruce ugly. A lot of people seem to think Bruce in Arkham Knight is like horrific looking, and I just don't see it. I think he's a perfectly fine looking individual. We've gone over this before, but what's wrong with Bruce? People say he's like repulsive. I don't see it. Like, he's a little rough looking, but after the events of uh, Arkham City and, and, you know, like, the, the night takes place a while after that, I kind of get it. I, I see, I've been seeing this as a very common sentiment that Bruce in Arkham Knight is like some grotesque creature that needs to be put down or something. He's a disgusting little piece of shig? That's insane. That's wild. In my opinion, Bruce Wayne is never especially handsome. He's basically, he's just basic rich guy. Bruce Wayne is always like default white dude for sure. Um, I I think Robert Pattinson bucked that trend a little bit, but I, I somewhat agree with you. Um, but I think like in terms of raw attractiveness, I don't think Arkham Knight Bruce is like a disgusting creature that needs to not exist. You know who I think is a disgusting creature that needs to not exist? Arkham Origins, Bruce. Is that a... I think that might be an uncommon opinion, but, like, I have a... I'm looking at a photo right now, and... Yeah. Yeah, he needs to go. He, he, he needs to go, dude. I, I gotta show you something. Maybe this is just a bad angle, but... Hang on a sec. Let me save this image. Wait, it'd be so much easier to just show you. Hang on, like this. One moment. This is very important stuff. Get a load of this, would you? So, like, can we just acknowledge for a second? God, I need to find a quicker way of doing this. Can we just acknowledge for a second, like, yes, he looks a little funky here. Not gonna lie to you. That is just crazy. City's a good balance. I think City's probably the best looking one. But like, Origins needs to go. <laughs> this guy, th this this guy needs to go somewhere far away from me. Raven, do you mind? No, no, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. She has this new thing where like when I'm streaming or recording, she has to jump on the table. I don't know what, maybe she thinks she can't understand English completely. She has broken English. She thinks I'm saying, Yo, come and jump on the table. Well, I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, the, uh, Arkham Origins looks like a Chad Dark Souls creation. It, uh, yeah, it's not working for me. Arkham Knight Bruce is fine looking is my... Uh, that's my final word anyway. Uh, 
I've always just loved Origins the most out of the franchise for so many reasons. I do really love Origins as well. Origins is the one I would probably be least likely to replay for the open world, but I do like so many of the mission segments of that game. It's a lot of fun. It's a good time. Uh, oh, I can't even... Do we even get to see Bruce Wayne in Arkham Asylum? I don't think we do. No, we don't. Telltale Bruce looks based. Telltale Bruce. What is... I can't even remember how he looks. Let me have a look. You know what? You know what the... F oh, yeah. He's... Yeah, that's that's a good Bruce Wayne, I think. That's a pretty good Bruce Wayne. Yeah, that, that's good. That's... It's very... It's all... It's kind of comic-y. It's nice. Um, you know what the first thing that came up when I typed in Telltale Bruce Wayne, the first recommended search was Telltale Bruce Wayne X Reader. <laughs> so we've got some degenerates in this community, it seems. Excellent. Very nice. Very good. That's great. Okay. I love seeing that. I love seeing that. Click it. All right. I'll take one for the team. I'll take one for the team, I guess. Oh. I don't want spoilers, though. That What if they incorporate spoilers? Oh, this is bad. Female GC DP. Okay. Yeah, Gotham City, uh, Delice de Department. Uh, detective inserted X Bruce Wayne Batman. A new love. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm backing out. I'm not clicking on any of these links. Close. Closing this tab. All right. Not the, not the Gotham City Delice Department. Not anything but that. Plid. All right. Yep, we're backing out. I'm not clicking on that. We're clicking on Dark Souls instead. That's what we do around here. We click on the souls. Let me, uh... God, this new this new setup's growing on me, but it still presents its problems. Oh, I'm very excited for this today. Like, very excited. This whole, like, riddle that we're following now with this doll. This is fucking cool. This is exactly my type of source that I enjoy. I'm very excited. Uh, game. Give me a moment. The game didn't shit itself. This is a this is a good day. This is a good day. Um, I forgot to turn the music off, didn't I? This is a bad day. This is the worst day of my life. Give me a moment. All right, this is the best day of my life. Okay, so. Yeah, last session of this game was probably one of my favorite we've done so far. Coming back to this area has been, like, just a cool moment. Just very memorable. Uh, I am recording, Line. Thank you, thank you. And thanks, Russ. I got people looking out for me here. Desi as well. I can't fail. Um, hello, Salmon. Good to see you. Would love to stay tonight, but I have my work experience in the morning. You should definitely go check out the Painted World, though. That's what I think we're doing here. If uh, I have solved the riddle, I'm pretty sure I know what to do somewhat. Uh, but have a good one, Rapella. Rest well. I didn't. I clearly didn't get enough sleep last night, and I'm paying for it. My brain <clears throat> feels like it's been put through a food processor and then stuffed back inside my noggin. I got your back like a rucksack. Bro, I didn't know Eminem joined the chat. I didn't know Slim Shady was gracing us with his presence all of a sudden. See you later, Alexa. You got man flu? Isaiah's streams are so powerful, they negate the effects of man flu? And man, I mean, yeah. Put, put me in a syringe and inject it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm curing all the diseases. Uh, New Game Plus? No, no, we just, uh... Am I aware I'm on IMDB? Yeah, I've seen that, actually. I, uh... Looking friendly as ever. That's a compliment if I ever saw one. Thanks, Salmon. 14 as months. As ever. The hell is that? Thanks a lot, dude. Good to see you. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, IMDB. Yeah, I think somebody's like uploaded vague mentions of Bruce and Robert and TGB to IMBD, which is pretty funny. 
so I just pop up there as well. Um, holy hell. Okay, so, yeah. I don't know if I'm missing anything in the asylum here. I believe there's a door I haven't opened. Um, better see Telltale tomorrow. It's certainly a possibility. It's a high possibility. I just need to sleep on time tonight. Be responsible. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot we had a bonfire here. That's pretty epic. Yeah, so I believe there's a door I haven't opened here. So we'll go on the hunt for that. 9.8 stars on IMDB for the adventures of Bruce and Robert. That's massive, dude. That's fucking huge. It's like, um... It's like the, the malformed fandom page as well. It just has, like, vague mentionings of the series. This guy was an archer originally, wasn't he? I wonder if there's a lore reason for the sudden increase in security here. The, the sudden very, very aggressive increase. Jesus. Kicking my shit in here. It's too early for, uh, it's too early for a complete onslaught, Jesus. Alright. We're two-handing this, I'm afraid. He deserves it. Oh god, I've got ghouls on my back too. Oh, I've got ghouls on my back as well, that's the last thing I needed. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. God, he is, like, ruthless. He really doesn't want me alive anymore. Jesus Christ. Ooh, red titanite chunk? Okay, so he was meant to be... pretty difficult. 18 on board, we fell into the abyss and fought the five kings. Why the fuck was there five? Here I was thinking after 307 deaths, Brian Murphy has gotten better, but it seems I was wrong. Brian Murphy was always the best, that's why. He can't get better from there. We can't go up any further, we've hit the ceiling. Um, yeah, this, uh, the, the, what's with the increase in security here? What is this? Is there something I'm not meant to see here? Are the kings dead, or are they- oh, we killed the kings, but there was- fucking five of them for some reason the bastards hey thanks a lot triple two leo thanks man i'm glad you enjoy them first time chatter welcome welcome to the fold i know uh dark souls isn't exactly a lego video game or red dead redemption but i appreciate you being here there's an item we missed all that time ago that i cannot access it seems you bastard all right i don't know where this sacred door is meant to be but chest ahead i don't believe you i personally don't believe it all right what are you talking about this is obviously goodest boys ancestor brian murphy I don't know, Brian Murphy's lineage is a confusing one to follow. Uh, is he gonna roll- is that a consistent thing? Or is- I think the ball's a one-time thing, right? You're a prick. You're a, you're an actual prick, you understand that? Dick. Um... Door? Where the fuck would I have left a door around here? How long are my toenails right now? My toenails are actually short, because I, uh, make sure that they are. I, I, I was expecting to have a better explanation for that, but I guess that's it. What other reason would my toenails be short? I'm not trying to walk around with claws, dude. Am I barefoot right now? Quite frankly, that's, that's none of your business. It's a very private thing. Oh, that might be it. I'm gonna backstab this guy. It has to be done. It has to be done. Just let it happen. It has to be done. Chat got a foot fetish or something? It seems to be. It, that, that seems to be the case. 
Oh, okay, so that was the door, all right. Ooh, I'm excited. This is certainly interest. Oh. Rusted iron ring. Was, was that really just for that? This better be like the fucking greatest ring of all time. Improves balance on poor footing. That's... That's shit. What? At what? What? This isn't Death Stranding. There isn't exactly a balance mechanic. What are we doing here? What? What? what who are you? State your business immediately. What the fuck was that? It has its uses? I'm struggling to believe it. Did you wish your mother's a, ha a mother a happy Mother's Day? No, I just ignored her when I saw her. I just, uh... I just stone-faced it. She was waiting for me to say it, but I just never did. Um... Okay, well, I guess... Am, am I missing anything else here? That seems to be it. I'm just gonna leave, I guess. This was cool coming back here, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Line. Just stone-faced it, man. What else can you do? Uh, yeah, alright. I think we're done. I think we're done here. I'm gonna... Head to Analondo now, I guess. This is definitely one of my favorite parts of the game, though. Coming back to this after, uh... After the journey we've been on. I wish there was maybe, like... No, you know what? I feel like this dole is important. And I, I'm hoping that I know what I'm doing with it. Because it's going to be very cool, I think. Because, uh... Gotta remember, like, that doll, it has, like, some weird significance to the story. I'm not sure how to piece it together, but it being in the cell that we started in feels important. It's like referencing someone's mother. Good timing. Um, it's just a matter of remembering how to get where I think this was. I believe it was... I believe it was down here. But we shall see. I'm kind of like, uh... Wait, did I have to do something here? Oh no, it comes back up, right? Yeah, uh... Not sure exactly... I got a lot of questions, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this... If this... This giant painting is the only thing I can think of, so that's what we're going with. <clears throat> that's what we're, uh... That's the only information I can go on. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can remember the par thing here. I should have sat at that bonfire. I don't know why the fuck I didn't do that, but anyway. Wasn't it, like, up there? I swear it was up there. Right? Can I run up? I think I can run up this. Yeah, wait. I can, right? Maybe I need my ring of sure-footedness. That fucking rusty old thing. I'm almost certain it was in here. Giant painting. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's gotta be this. This is, it, That felt so sick. I forgot about these fuckers. Oh my god. Yeah, these guys are menacing. All right, never mind. Cowards, piece of, pieces of garbage as far as I'm concerned. Okay, at least we don't have to do all of that. Um, yeah, so we, we just go down. This is the only significant painting. Like This is the only painting we stopped and paid any attention to in the entire game, so it has to be this. Um, did, do we have to? Yeah, I guess we do have to do all this bullshit. Okay. That's the smallest painting I've ever seen. It is quite pathetic. In my mansion, we have paintings like three times the size of that on every wall, so. Whack. L. Doing the L dance right now. You can't see it, but trust me, I am. I'm doing it. 
yeah, okay. So I wonder what that ring of sure-footedness does. Does it just make it so that it's like harder for me to fall off things? I'm not sure how they would go about making it like that, but cool, I guess. You're a prick. You're a bastard. I do be parkouring though. They can't compare. What a fool. Don't you know never to use ladders near the enemy? The surefire way of getting yourself killed. He stumbles less? That would make sense. Okay, so... How do I get down here again? I think I can just drop and survive. But there is a stairway here, which is probably safer. So I'll do that. I was just gonna jump down. I probably would have died, but... This is definitely better. No, I will still definitely die from that. I think. Not if I drop down onto that, though. Am I missing something? I think I can drop down onto that. Let's do it. Alright, that was really good. I'm glad we did that. So, I think that's just uh, a process of automatically dying there. Oh, good. I forgot to sit at the fire. It's a great time, this game. It really is. It's a, it's a really good experience all around. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's automatic death if you jump down there. I don't think I had a choice there. That's a lot of souls. I don't want to lose those souls. Oh, okay. I don't know how to get down there. There's no fucking... Can we just have like a normal stairway, please? Instead of all this mystical cryptic bullshit every time? That was good timing, at least. Led, remember the giant elevator? Was there an elevator there, though? Was there? Possibly. Alright, well, let's see anyway. Only one way to find out. Wait, wait. Can I just turn this around? And it... Oh, hang on. I might have cracked the code here. This is a thing, right? Ah, I forgot this was a thing, you see. Silly me. That... <laughs> that would make sense. Yep, that would make a whole lot of sense. God only knows how we did that the first time, though. Alright. Thank you for believing in me. I've got 10 Estus flasks now. I can't lose. Good to see you, Kilgore. Thanks for jumping in. There's a lot of fellas here. There's a lot of guys that want me not alive anymore. They want to stop Brian from breathing. I don't like it. One by one, they'll fall. I'll tell you that. They're too slow with it. They have these tiny little weapons and they're still so unfathomably slow with it. Look at that. Oh my god. How about, uh, don't be shit? You might want to think about taking that into account or something. Using this stream to fall asleep to? I'm sure majority of people are. Like, I wonder, I wish I could get an exact, I know it's an impossible thing to measure, but I wish I could get an exact number on the amount of people who watch Twitch streams to fall asleep versus, like, active users. These guys look like they don't consider the drums a real instrument. Yeah, definitely that sort of type. Who said that? Who was that? Raise your hand immediately. Hand, hand raise of shame. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> so, who was that? That is just crazy behavior. I don't think I'll ever be able to let that go. Yeah. The hammer's not a real tool. You just fucking hit shit with it. It's got nothing on the... On the... Uh, you know, construction tools of some description. On the... Yeah, it's, it's got nothing on the complexity of the wrench. So, you know. 
crazy. It's got nothing on the screwdriver. Okay, so... Moment of truth. Has this painting changed? I don't think so. It could be a false connection here, but I'm feeling like this is the snow. And there was snowy mountains in the distance and stuff back at the asylum. What the hell was that? I don't know, may maybe some sort of connection there? I don't know. We'll see. So this is definitely it then. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Suck me into the painting. Oh, this is, this is crazy. Painted world of Ariamis. This is genuinely one of the craziest things to happen in a video game. I was right about snow though. Oh, I didn't, I didn't pick up my souls. It's all right. We just have to not die here. How did, how long did it take them to make this game? This is like way too much variety for this to have been possible in, in like a short amount of time. There's, there's way too much stuff in this game. And you're saying this is not DLC. That, oh, that, yep, all right, that was cool. The key is we just have to not die, you understand? It's really pretty simple. Wait, did I not sit? God damn. They should just make it that when you flip the fire on, you're good. Isn't that what I did? I don't fucking know. I kind of, I, I don't even pay attention when I'm doing that. There's a lot of ghouls here. Alright. I'm guessing that's the way forward. That's a thing from Dark Souls 2 onwards. Does Dark Souls 2 actually do something good? That's insane. That's wild. That's the first positive thing I've heard. You know what? I might have been wrong. Maybe this thing down here doesn't open. Please, for the sake of my uh, sanity, just don't open from this Bruce. side. Yes. All right. I get, like, stressed out when there's multiple paths, you know? We've got to keep it simple around here. Hey, thanks a lot, Leo. B28. Thanks for the prime, dude. Thank you very much. Thanks for the generosity. Uh, Bloodborne reference? Just saying? Some sort of, some sort of Bloodborneian reference? You know? Little little Easter egg. Oh my god, look at that combo, dude. I love that little stab that we do after diving. Why have I never done that intentionally? That's actually really helpful. That's really good for these guys. What the what the fuck? What what is going on there? Uh, new condition? New new skin condition unlocked here? I'm trying to understand what he's doing. To... I'm guessing don't walk in that mist. Yeah, this is strange. I wonder what, like, the significance of... Oh, that, that guy's definitely watching me. Oh, this is just strange. And why is all of this in a painting? I have so many questions. I'm toxic. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, oh, the, the toxic shit is really annoying. Do, I don't think I have any moss or anything of the sort either. It's crazy how you just don't really pick that stuff up. Unless you're in, like, Blight Town, I guess. That's fun. Uh, 
Would it just be a better idea to go back to the fire? At this point? This is Spooksville. The fuck? What are we doing? What are we doing here? Vermin. I'm here to clean it out. This has to be some, like... I don't know. This has to be some sort of 8-bit Metroidvania story hidden within a story. It's all an allegory for depression and anxiety type of thing, right? This is, like, inside Brian's mind or something. Because there's, like, the doll connection... And there's the, it was found in my cell. And it's talking about people's mothers and, which is quite rude actually, how dare you. It's gotta have, it's gotta be something like that. Little item, little soul of a proud knight. Can't go wrong there. I'm gonna die from this toxicity. The fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Oh shit, Th this design is like crazy. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Please don't kill- Yeah, they're going to be a really fun enemy to deal with, I can already tell. They are going to be, uh... They're gonna be crazy. Okay, alright. Am I going to have to watch a lore video to understand this, though? Soul's gone? Yeah, that's massive. It doesn't really matter at this point, but yeah. Still doesn't feel good. No more toxic is a plus. Yeah, could I understand somewhat what's happening here without a lore video? I feel like we could piece something together. I told you what I think's going on. You said I was wrong. So that there goes that. Oh, did, did the death counter not go up? Should have gone up. Pretty sure it went up. I'm almost certain it did. Can we get a VOD check? Let's get a VOD check. Because uh, I don't think... Anybody's paying close enough attention I here think to know. How do I check a... Can I check a thing that's already going? The fact that you still can't rewind on, on Twitch is, like, diabolical. No, no wonder this fucking platform is dead. Dying. Uh... I don't know if we can. Video producer, maybe. You should end your Dark Souls YouTube series with a recap of what you think the story was and then you compare it to a lore video. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so you can go into the VOD. Mothers and... Which is quite rude, actually. How dare you? This guy's hilarious. It's I should watch have, this guy all the time. something like that. This guy's really funny. Um... Dying yeah, like yeah, crazy. we put it up. Don't instill. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Please don't. Yeah, I would definitely put it up. Yeah, they're going to be a Wait for really it. fun enemy. To yes, I did. Like yeah, my attack. brain's too large. You can't sneak that past me. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. Thanks for the hundred, by the way, there, Dom. Sorry, I didn't see that. Thanks, man. Why does it sound like a movie would? How a, like how a movie would imitate someone's internal thoughts out loud? You, you're talking about that? The, the, the Twitch VOD? Alright, let's, uh, th those, I was gonna say those, that enemy design's like grotesque, but pretty cool. They remind me, so m anything with an animal head is going to elicit this response from me, but it reminds me of the Tarheen from, uh, The Dark Tower. Probably shouldn't have said that. It's a bit of a spoiler for the Dark Tower, but... Gets pretty crazy. Gets pretty insane. Gets pretty wild, I might add. All 
All right, let's see if we can deal with these things this time. So that's basically an instant death. By the looks of how the last encounter went. All right, nothing for us up there. Yeah, go for it, line. Send it, send it, send it my way. Shoot it at me. Uh, phrasing. Send me that photo of your design. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I keep forgetting that they're toxified. Alright, I'm gonna have to bonfire rush it. Give me a bonfire, do it, I dare you. It'll be really good for all of us. It'll be a great time. Do it. Provide me with the bond. Oh my god, they're crawling over the wall? Okay, that was cool. Alright, give, give me that bonfire. Oh, what is that? I'm guessing that's a boss. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's gonna come alive when I go down this way, so... Gonna look for a bonfire. Maybe this is one of those areas where it's just, like, really hard to find. Dude, this is... This is so fucked up. Okay, cool. Oh, that's that's great. Alright, awesome. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. Dude, does, like... Uh, I'm guessing the game is not generous enough to stop the toxic when you go into a boss area, so that was just a stupid thought. Um, okay. Not down here. Let's check up here. Oh, it did. I was right. It's not a boss, but it did come alive. That is fucking awesome. This is very similar or maybe the exact same to the thing in the Valley of the Drakes, right? Just constantly spews up foul bile and not much else. All right. You got that walk spew. The valley of 19 inches. Can we stop? Can we can we stop? 19 inches of vel venom. There's got to be a bonfire up here. I can smell it. I can smell it and I can hear it crackling. Oh, good. Oh. Keep it going. This area is kind of stressful. Okay. 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 Painted World made it sound like it was going to be on some, like, Mario shit. I don't know why. So, like, stress wasn't really on my mind as much. Does that make sense? Like, I, I've never played a Mario game again, but... I don't know, Painted World? What, what's, what's the, like, Super Paper Mario? It was giving me that kind of vibe. The Red Sign Soapstone. Which is to, like, leave messages or something, right? No, leave invasion sign. I have no idea what that means. Um, like, I still don't think I can leave messages. Right? No, I can't. I don't have anything valuable to say anyway. I wonder how this guy died. What a fucking idiot. That would never happen to me. Yeah, I have nothing val- Oh god, the toxic is still killing me. I have nothing valuable to add to the conversation regardless, so... Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I have... 
the the only sensible option here is to go back to the fire and replenish my health. That's literally, and then just run past all the enemies. That's the only sensible thing. I was gonna just boss rush it, but what's the point in that? I'm gonna die immediately. I may die immediately regardless. I don't even think I can make it to the bonfire with how this toxic is spreading. I'm definitely not going to make it now. Oh, Jesus. That was... I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Lid. They're so determined to skin me. It's crazy. Oh my god, you're right, humanity. You're right. I, 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 humanity, please. No! <laughs> no! How could you do it to Brian Murphy of all people, the kindest man who ever walked the earth? Are you fucked in the head or something? I'm kindling this, I don't even care. I don't even care at this point. Okay, I forgot I have to eat humanity first. Sad day. Real sad day. We're gonna have skin though, which is big. Alright. Cool. Kindle up. We got some, uh, some meat on our bones here, which is always a plus. Somebody was, I, I'm not sure who it was, somebody was laughing at me for having Estus Flask plus one at this point in the game. Not sure how laughable that is, but I will say this. I've had... It's fucking Eric, again. This man is so dedicated, it's actually kind of hard to believe. It's actually really nice having him here, even just in spirit. I can't summon him because I'll lose a portion of my self-respect, but it, it is really nice to have Eric here in spirit, you know? That's a beautiful thing. Just want to acknowledge this for a second. Like, I don't know why he has a phallic stone for a weapon. Phallic stone on a stick, but I, I can appreciate it. That's a good guy right there. He's, he's kind of just been here in spirit for the entire playthrough. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a dragon's tooth. It's a phallic stone. How about learn your Dark Souls lore before you come in here talking to me like that? Oh god. I really set myself up for success there, didn't I? Okay. I'm going straight for this boss. I don't have time to fight these peasants. I, th I thought, I thought I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. I was thinking and I was wrong. I thought I ate, but I left numerous crumbs, unfortunately. So that's just how it goes, I guess. Secret little present over here, that's crazy. I want it. I, I feel like I can do that. I just feel like Brian's capable of that. Capable of losing all my health as well. So that's cool. Oh, I, I forgot about my souls as well. Should probably pick those up. Oh, I'm. I meant to jump. I thought that was a. I thought the barrels were a railing. Okay. I'm an idiot. Whatever. Gold coin that I never fucking use for anything because the currency is literally human and various creatures' souls. So, whatever. Okay. God, this place is confusing. Okay, my souls were there, all right. I, I have a grip of where I am now. We're good, we're good. I'm very... Oh, okay, all right, all right. Relax, relax, relax. Everybody just calm down. Egg ver vermiage, whatever that was. 
So, yeah, I'm... Where's the... Oh, I just made a fucking boo-boo, didn't I? Yeah, big, big boo-boo. Not good. All right, that's one of the most foolish things I've ever done. How do I like my eggs? I used to only like my eggs, like, fried and, um... And scrambled, but... Somewhat recently, like, in the last... Four years? I convert... Like, I was vehemently against any sort of runny egg like completely against it if you put that on my plate i would I, i'd legally have to kill you um but i i've come around po i poached egg is pretty much what i order every single time now if i'm having eggs so do with that information what you will i used to just hate runny egg like the thought of it made me sick and now i'm like hit me with it I think it was just... I don't know what it was. Maybe... I don't know if I had a bad experience or something. Early on. In my existence. With runny egg. But now I'm all for it. I think it's... The best way to have your egg. With like any sort of... Breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this game's fucking hilarious. Can, can I just get... How did, how, did, how did I get there to begin with? Thanks for the hundred dollars. Do you smoke Newports? Newport? I don't even think Newports are really a thing here. Are they? I'm so unfamiliar with the cigarette law at the moment. Australia is so strange with cigarettes. Like, we have this cigarette tax. So, regular packets of cigarettes are like fucking $60 or something. So, you know, pray for anybody who does smoke because if they live here... You gotta have, like, millions in the bank to keep up with the habit. That's... Uh, this area is just fucked in the head. Okay. So, I think I'm meant to go down there, right? And then... No, that can't be right. That's what I tried to do, like, two seconds ago. I just have no conception of where I am. I'm almost certain that's just where I was. Hold up. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to get down there, right. Which might not even be possible now that I'm looking at it. Is that even where I want to go? Like, what am I actually trying to accomplish here? For fuck's sake, this game's unbelievable. Okay, alright. Who cares? I'm going the other way. I'm going the other way. I'm done with this. Really cool. How do I even get back to, like, a sensible path? How's the Fent dealer job treating you? I quit selling Fent and decided to sell tobacco cigarettes instead. Because, uh, bigger market for it in Australia. Oh, that's funny. That's really funny. What an idiot. Do you see that? Look at this fool. Who does this guy actually think he is? gonna throw something at me he thinks he's smart look at this fucking guy he's he's gonna drop down on me watch it's gonna happen i can hear his little footsteps i can see his little health bar too like sneaking around up there. This is a real human, right? This is definitely a, an actual human being. Get out of my world. Get out of my world. It'll be very bad for your health if you stay in my world. 
I'm telling you, it will be. This fucking guy. Look at this fucking guy. Does he, like, have... Does he know exactly where I am? Like, at all times? Oh, fuck. Did I just ruin myself? I just ruined myself. Oh, he doesn't? Okay, that's good. I'm guessing he's watching the stream, though, so that could present a unique problem. This fucking guy, this, uh, he's fun. This guy's funny. I haven't beaten a single person who's invaded me, so this, this, there's a lot riding on this, I think. I don't know how to, like, get back to the normal area, like, at all. I just don't get it. I'm like trapped in this little labyrinth here. And now I've got some dude on my case. That's the fourth time. I don't know where the fuck to go. Here he is. Look at this guy. This guy's hilarious. Ah, so we meet again <laughs> in the exact same spot. <laughs> Look, the burden is on you to kill me, not the other way around. I see what you're doing, trying to corner peek. I know you're watching the stream. Yeah, you go up the ladder. That's exactly what I thought, bozo. May have made a tactical error here. <laughs> this fucking guy and his Grim Reaper weapon. Thinks he's got some stealth going on here. I'm gonna hit the Schminkleberry on him if he's not careful, I'll tell you that. I feel like I can hear him. If that's him, he has the... he. The most cowardly footsteps I've ever heard in my life. Do you understand that? Do you get that? Watch this. Watch this. Okay. The backstabs in this game are some of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh my god, what is this guy? Fucking Merlin? What are we doing here? Yeah, okay, buddy. You have fun with that. Coward. Pathetic. Yeah, you back down, buddy. <laughs> there is no way. There is no fucking earthly way. This stupid motherfucker. It was all a part of my plan. It was all it was all a part of my master plan, you see. Brian Murphy, the tactical genius. Oh god. Who was that? It'd show yourself immediately. Did that count as me killing him? Oh, that hurt my chest. Oh my god, that is like some actual- Somebody said Tom and Jerry, you're spot on. That gave me fucking heartburn. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Truly, truly unbelievable. Oh man, I need to have skin more often. This game is so much better when you've got some asshole trying to kill you. Where did that even happen? See, I don't even know how to get back to where I was. I'm so perplexed by this entire area. Oh, my chest. I've developed a condition from that. 
Okay, there, there. I, okay, right. The only thing is, how do I get back here at that point? Okay, that was really impressive, dude. Do that again. Again, for the audience. For the people at home. Oh my god, okay. Whatever. I'm gonna have to make some sort of, uh... Oh, Jesus. I really don't want to attack them and get toxic on me again. Like, I really don't want to do that. Can I just go and get, get my souls, please? Why is this area so confusing for my head? Because I know that once I go down there, I'm not going to know how to how to get back up. Alright, I'm going to have to go. For fuck's sake. You're all dead to me. So now we're back in the dregs. Okay, buddy. Really funny. Just die, please. That was quite possibly my favorite moment in the game so far. I really need to get some skin again. That is just a... Uh, that's an all-timer. Oh, wait. Is that... That's where I need to be, right there. I don't know if I can make this jump, though. Oh, never mind. Brian's built fucking differently. My mistake. Dude's just different. Um, do I really want to go into a boss with 40-something thousand souls, though? Like, now I just feel like I should go... You know what I'm gonna do? For the first time ever? I'm gonna use a homeward bone. Hey, fuck you. Why, why, why didn't my homeward bone work? Oh my god. <laughs> Am I really being cheated out of a first-time homeward bone usage? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. They're really trying to cheat me out of this. They're really trying to cheat me out of it right now. Give me the bone. Did that count as a use as well? That's unbelievable. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's a certified bone moment. That's our first time using it. That's pretty huge. All right, so you know what I probably should do? I feel like at this point, I've got all of these boss souls that I'm definitely not converting into weapons. Should I just go on a spending spree right now? Should I just use, like, all of them? And just level up, like, 50 times? Because I'm not... I, I'm not abandoning the boulder sword, so, like, what, what's the fucking point otherwise, you know? There's so many of them, and I think they're going to give me, like, crazy souls. Soul mukbang? Call, I'm I'm literally the Nikocado Avocado of Dark Souls Remastered. This is going to be unbelievable. All right. So, we have a fine soul of Sif today. Uh, how do I make sure I eat the soul and don't create a new, uh, a new weapon out of the soul? Go on a nice old spending spree. So, use it? Okay. So, yeah, we have a fine soul of Sif. This is of the canine delicacy. 16,000, alright, not too bad, not too bad, not great, a little bit bitter, but, you know, reasonably tasty. The, uh, the soul of Ornstein, not really sure where I got this one from. Read them to confuse your understanding of the lore, yeah, actually, I only read the Sif one, that's a good idea, let's have a look here. Uh, soul of Ornstein... Or I guess Ornstein, maybe. Uh, Dragon Slayer Knight who guards the cathedral in the Forsaken City. Oh, so this was uh, Old Mate. This was the quick guy. The small guy and the big guy. This was the small guy. I'm guessing. Uh, probably my favorite boss fight of the game, honestly. I just found that really fun. And also, uh, it didn't take us too long, but I still felt like it was challenging. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, the, and it's probably my favorite boss soundtrack as well, from what I can remember. Cool. All right. 
Uh, special beings have special souls. Lord Gwyn granted this soul to his four most trusted knights. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. All right. This is definitely 25k. Imagine 12k for, for a whole guy. And he thought he was the shit too. That's crazy. All right. Uh, core of an iron golem. Okay. I don't know why I can't read today. Soul serving as the core of the Iron Golem, guardian of Sen's fortress, and slayer of countless heroes seeking Analondo. He could have, uh, he could have stopped us for way longer, but I think we got pretty lucky. Alright, we'll, we'll eat the Minecraft reference. 12k, alright. Soul of Quilag. Soul of Quilag, once daughter of the Witch of Izalith, but now a Chaos Demon kind of goes without saying. That was a relatively easy one too, actually. That was 8,000. That one tasted kind of like shit, to be honest. And then finally, the soul of the Moonlight Butterfly, which unironically is one of the bosses that I've died to the most, if I'm not mistaken, which is very embarrassing and kind of confusing to think about. And that is literally 1,200. That is pretty shameful honestly but anyway 90k souls that's pretty big would i be an idiot to just eat every soul i have right now i know i'm being slightly gluttonous but i just feel like i should go for it i think i'm gonna be a, a glutton right here that's 50k all right let let wait what why are disasters are what what disasters okay so save the rest i feel like i feel like i should save the rest now that was a little silly D just in case i need some at some point you know oh we can level up so i why didn't i do this earlier why didn't i do this earlier okay one two three four f so f we got four levels here Use the six hero ones then? Alright, alright. We'll do that, we'll do that. Uh, alright, we'll, we'll do the six hero ones. This is pretty satisfying. Two hundred thousand souls in the bank. I never thought I'd see the fucking day. Yeah, that, that's definitely a dopamine hit. I'm definitely riding on that high for the rest of the day. Okay, so... So six levels. That's pretty huge. I'm wondering what I should go for here. Do we put three in vitality, three in endurance? I feel like that might be good. Or yeah, we could get 40 vitality. Or 39 vitality. More dex? Didn't somebody say dex is useless at this point? more or less faith still don't know what faith does um isn't it isn't a hard cap where it like physically stops you for from leveling up isn't a soft cap where where it stops becoming useful or if i'm i misunderstanding what that meant all my life health and strength I don't know if strength is really worth it for me. Um, I think I might just go... We'll put three in vitality and three in endurance. I could do with a little bit more endurance at this point. That feels good. I feel like that's a good idea. God, that's the biggest spend we've done. I have a long health bar at this point, so that's good. So before we could do... Oh yeah, that's big. That's actually huge. So before we could only do, a, a, I think, a dodge and then two stabs. And now we can do three. So that's massive. Yeah, that was worth it. That feels really good. Alright. We spent some cash. Now it's time to go and make some more.
That it, the daily grind. The Brian Murphy way. Do I even need this much health? It feels a little bit stupid, but... I guess I probably will. You ever die again, you should be embarrassed. I, I've never died, so... I don't know, I wouldn't know what that feels like. Ignore the uh, top right of the screen right now. Don't pay attention to that old thing. Alright, so... Guessing this is a boss down here, so I'm gonna stop beating around the bush and just go and... Do whatever it is. It's time. I'm curious. I hope we never have to fight that thing. I guess we probably will. If we want the most out of this area. Alright. Moment of truth, as they say. Get slapped down? What the hell? I didn't even think we could do that with this weapon. Get slapped down, that's all I can say. Alright, this has to be a boss. Not a boss. A new area. Okay. That's kind of more scary than a boss. What in the fuck? Oh my god, they're throwing sp Oh, they're throwing spears. Uh, protect- Are they pro- uh, Maybe I'm misunderstanding this? Are they protecting that statue or something? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is fucked up. I don't want to get in the way of them and their faith, I guess. This is a wild area. Okay, alright. How about we relax for a second? I have so much health, it's actually ridiculous. Feels good. Oh, oh, I, I, I want to turn my volume up. I think I'm hearing music. Oh, this game is, this game is huge, dude. That was cool. Can't believe how many times I've been hit by those guys, but anyway. I, w I just wish I knew, like, what the context of this was. Because I feel like my understanding is skewed, but, like, usually... I don't know. Usually, like, enemies or, or whatever are stuck to these, like, posts in war to, like, ward off... You know, people thinking of staging a fucking conquest or something, right? So, like, I'm guessing these are the victors of some battle. Whoever lives here. And these are like the uh, the enemies or the unfortunates who went against them or something. I, who they went to battle with, I'm not sure. But that's like how I'm imagining it. Hey, good to see you, Ben. Thanks for jumping in, dude. They're just hanging around. Maybe I got it all wrong. Maybe this is just the annual uh, Painted World hangout or something. Is this a giant shortcut? It is. I've been blessed. I've been blessed and attacked. Do you think that... Oh, holy shit. Yeah, I, for I forgot the whole, the, the whole area is inside a painting as well, which just adds a whole other layer of what the fuck is going on. I was going to say, do you think Souls games would benefit like, wide popularity-wise. Uh, would they appeal to a wider market, do you think, if the stories were a little bit more obvious? And do you think that they would be, like, losing a piece of what makes them special if they did do that? Like, because imagine if they presented the story. I'm not saying this would be good, but I'm just imagining, like, how different these games would be if they presented the story in a more obvious way. Like, if they... It, it, I don't know. If they, like, skyrim it or something, you know? They would be more popular, but it would lose less of its identity. I think they would definitely feel like entirely different games. But at the same time, I feel like they... 
I feel like there is a balance where they could make it a little bit more obvious and still have that feeling of having the choice of completely ignoring the story if you want to. You know what I mean? I still think they should stay the way that they are because it's fun to speculate, but... I'm imagining they could, like, scatter more readables around and stuff like that. Maybe that's played out, though. I don't know. Oh my god, okay. Without the complex law, we wouldn't have Vardy? Well, that's true. That's true. Okay, so, if I'm not mistaken, I'm an idiot, but we knew that. Oh, okay, I'm guessing this is a boss. All right, kind of wasn't expecting this. I didn't have time to prepare, but I guess we're going in. That definitely, I, it's very blurry, but I'm guessing this is boss town. You're fucking kidding me. My worst enemy is here. Are you literally my arch nemesis? Can we not do this? Wait, where's, where's the... I thought it was going to trigger a cutscene if I got close enough. Okay, it's a soul of a brave warrior who even gives a fuck. What? <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Why even bother? You know, one thing I do really hate about this game is when you go to pick something up, it, like, stops you from doing anything else for a second, so you just stand there like an absolute fucking idiot for about two seconds. Unbelievable. So, is that even where I need to be going? I definitely saw something at the end there, yeah. It's an optical illusion, I guess. Oh no, it's not. Oh, it is. This is so strange. I'm, I'm gonna die again. This is the worst fucking enemy of all time, by the way. Um, I do need to go down here. Elden Ring did fix that. You're telling me there's multiple, multiple games that I have to play that I want to play, but with that problem, it's like you go to pick up something and you're just kind of trying to rush through it and you press X and it's like, mm, now you can't dodge for the next 47 years. Have fun with that. Alright. I think that message said try blocking, so that's what I'm going to try. This is so weird, though. What is that? Okay, fuck you. Jesus Christ. Can I get a second? Oh, he's... He's... Okay. <laughs> Alright, sick. This fucking guy. Let me whip out the binoculars real quick. I absolutely... is. There's got to be a zoom, right? There's no zoom. Oh, it, it literally is just one of the wheel guys, but it, it doesn't look like it from afar. Strange. Whoops. Alright. Let me get my souls. Okay. Cool. I just need to get back to my safe haven here. Alright, this is where I'll stand my ground. Yeah, really successfully. That's awesome. Alright, you can tell me. Do I have to be in this room? Do I have to do this? Is this the way forward? Sadistic if yes. Jesus, What's the plan man. for the next couple streams? Are you grinding the Souls games for now, Big Browski? Thanks, man. Jesus Christ. Thanks for the 500 bits, dude. Benjamin himself. Thank you, dude. Uh, I think uh, at the moment, we're just... Um, I was meant to do Telltale Batman today and then alternate again, but uh, 
I woke up with a sore brain. So I think, um, yeah, next will be, that'll be like the next alternating game. We'll go, we'll go through Telltale Batman, finish Dark Souls 1 on every second day. Um, and uh, then I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to move straight on to Dark Souls 2 or not. I feel like I might want to, but we'll see. But thank you, dude. Thanks for the 500 bits, man. I hope you've been doing well. Thank you very much. There's a way to skip that bit. You'll have to fight the dragon, though. But we're in the right area, right? Like, this is the correct area. You'll get too rusty if you don't. How deep are we in this right now? We're pretty deep. I think we're this area, one boss, and a DLC away from being completely finished with this game. Okay. Why did it put my souls over there when there was a perfectly good spot to put it there and then I'd have no risk? Kind of feels a little bit silly. Okay, are we good? Alright, go. Yes, I timed that perfectly. I can't believe it. Brian's built different. That's it, right? Never, never. That's a wall. Yes. Alright, that's... I actually can't believe the fucking nerve of this video game. I actually can't believe the nerve of this game. It is... It has nuts, I'll tell you that. It has nuts. Because most people would just never play the game again, encountering an enemy like that. Like, this game has a pair, I'll tell you. That is the worst enemy in the game. There, like, once they get you like that as well, there's no way you can escape. You're fucking dead, man. You're at the mercy of these spinning wheels of death. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm just going. I'm just... No, that's such a silly idea. Don't be a fucking idiot. Try not be a total fool for once in your life, please. Lib? Alright, that's him done. I guess we're just gonna go around in a circle, unless they infinitely spawn or something, which would be the worst thing to deal with, but anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Getting them to run into a wall seems to be the way to go. Yeah, that's definitely it. Okay, you know what? I'm actually glad that these are messed up because I'm learning new things. Our brain is evolving. And that's all you can really hope for. Now, hopefully they don't infinitely spawn or some shit. Oh, why is there so many invisible walls? All right, hold on. You know what? I never thought I'd use this thing ever again. I really didn't think I would. Where is it? I never thought I'd use this thing again, to be honest. No, please don't kill me. He's not dead. Okay. All right. Uh, wrong button, Bozo. An X key, all right. This is confusing. Got a little gremlin hiding here. This fucking guy, this fucking guy better not kill me. I think we're out. I probably missed like a bunch of stuff in there, but... 
if it means not being there anymore, it's worth it. Alright, we'll piss this thing off. Basically useless. Oh, excellent. I don't think we're done in that area at all. No, it hit me! How the fuck did that hit me? I should have just left it alone. I should have just left it alone. Why would I not leave it alone? I had the option to leave it alone. I've got problems. I, I had, that's, that, uh, yeah, I had the option and I didn't take it. Oh my god, are we really doing this to the player at this point in the game? Oh my god, yes. Apparently we are. Hopefully this is where I'm meant to be. No. No. I'm gonna say probably not. Wow. Okay. I need a bonfire and like now, preferably. Yeah, it's a it's a good shortcut at least. Okay, so that's back out. Terry's a merchant near the Berg. She sells moss to help with this kind of thing. Thanks for the hundred, Dom. A merchant near the Berg, you say? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. The Berg. Oh. Wow, I'm slow. This is why I didn't- this is why I didn't play fucking... Telltale today, because my head is sore. Like I bumped it in the night. Yeah, Moss Lady's kind of not on our connections list anymore because I accidentally stabbed her. It's fully understandable why she wouldn't want to do business with Brian Murphy after that. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the only wall, the only entryway. How did you even accidentally stab her? I just went up to her and then pressed the button accidentally. Did I go this way? Dude, am I meant to be here? I feel like I'm not meant to be here. I feel like I was tricked. Wheat beak dipped in tea, like a biscuit, is something else. Can't remember when I first gave this combo a go, but boy am I glad that I did. Makes the end of the drink. That's it, Dom. That's it. You hit the nail on the head, buddy. Thanks for the hundred. Think dude. the perky plug hide in somewhere down here as well. We can only hope. Thanks for the three hundred, Ben. Jesus Christ, dude. Wait, did I just accidentally find something here? How did I miss this? What? What in God's name? Thanks for the three hundred, dude. Jesus. Man, Brian could do with a pill right about now. Something to calm the nerves, get the shakes away. Yeah, I don't fucking like this. Oh my god, okay. Alright, there's they're definitely a boss down there for sure. Okay, first order of business. That was fucking horrible. That was very painful. There are so many parts in this game that just really make me question life itself, I'll tell you that. Alright, so need to get back to the bonfire. I could I could bone it, but there's a door right here. We won't waste a bone like that. There's a door right here. Let's not be wasteful, okay? Oh god, really? Don't make me regret my decision. Alright, we're good. So, no more toxicity. That's always a plus. I'm gonna eat some souls. How many souls do we need to level up, actually? 35k, alright. I think I think we can get to 35k. With a, a, a few chews, a couple of munches. 
Yeah, easy. All right, all right. We'll level up one more time. All right, big stuff happening here. Let's go endurance again. Try and get this endurance up to 30. All right. This is big. Massive meal moment. You're right. Okay, these guys really don't like when you get close to their statue. I'd be like throwing the controller when someone hitting me with a red shell in Mario Kart to stay sane after 314 deaths. That's a mentally strong man right there. 314 is pretty wild when you really think about it. That's 314 separate times that we have been defeated. It, that's that's pretty big. You know what else is big? 300 bits. Thanks a lot, Ben. <clears throat> I haven't played Mario Kart in a long time. It do be banging, though. Thanks a lot, dude. Thanks for the generosity, as always, man. Um... I literally never look at the death counter anymore. Yeah, it's like not even... It's not a special occurrence anymore. Remember remember the first stream? Two deaths? And everybody was like surprised and everybody was like, wait a second. This is kind of crazy. This guy's actually kind of insane. Miyazaki stated that the area was scaled toward mid to late game. So the mountaintops? You mean, you mean like, is this area... How did I get hit by that? Mario Kart on shrooms? You trying to kill yourself? There's easier ways to do it. Alright, let's just ignore these fiends real quick, alright? Oh, yeah, alright. We're gonna ignore this fiend as well. Are you an idiot? Oh, we're dealing with a bunch of foolish individuals here. That's good. Okay. Are you not attacking me? If I see a fucking single comment, I know where it's coming. I know what's going to happen. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want to see a single comment. All right. I'm actually seeing some restraint here, which is which is good. Uh, okay. I, I, you know what? I'm actually proud of you guys because I thought there was going to be a lot of feet-related messages. So, mate, I don't know. My mind went there, yours didn't. I guess that says a lot more about me than it does you. Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't actually want to do it. I was just going to go and make a joke. I was going to go and make a joke. I was going to go and make a joke. I don't actually want to jump. Don't do it, Brian. You're not that much of a simp, are you? Don't do it now. Step back. Are you a fucking idiot or what? Um, I wanted to go to the edge and make a snarky comment and turn around and then defeat the boss. Are we fucking joking ourselves here? But I mean, like, at the end of the day, what would really be my motivation for killing this boss? What did she do to me? Isn't that her domain? New bone, though. That's true. That the grip is out? See, that's what I was expecting. I'm, I'm going to at least go and talk. I got th some things to say. I was just going to go to the edge, be like, yeah... Brian Murphy would never back down from a fight. Cool, slip the sunglasses on, the explosion goes off in the background. That kind of thing. Alright. Excellent. Well, we'll... <laughs> okay. I want to know the story behind this whole painted world, though. It 
the fact that this is just in a painting in Analondo is like very disturbing. I feel like the implications of that are terrifying. Like, let's think about, I don't know what, okay, relax, buddy. I don't know what the legal system is like in Analondo, but I'm thinking, imagine getting sentenced to life in a painting or something. Like, they don't even have to worry about taking up room in an actual prison or anything, because they can just stuff you inside a painting forever. That's the kind of implications I'm thinking about here. And these guys are guarding their fucking statue like some guy guards his prized Funko Pop collection. Guarding a statue doesn't make you cool, okay? That's a, that's a glorified Funko Pop right there. Alright, imagine this boss is like unbelievably difficult though. Maybe I'll just jump off the edge again. I can't believe that triggered a uh, cutscene though. That's insane. Okay, all right. Let's relax, okay? Look at this idiot. Is he gonna do it again? Would he be so foolish? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Just disappears the next time I turn around. What a guy. Love that guy. Me and him go way back, you see. All right. I'm back again. I accidentally jumped off the edge. Its inhabitants kind, but thou dost not belong. I beg of thee, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. You know, she kind of makes me want to do it again, and it has nothing to do with any sort of appearance or anything like that. Listen to me. Maybe the inhabitants are kind when I'm not fucking sniffing around somewhere I shouldn't be, okay? That's all I'm saying. Maybe they are kind. I would have no idea. I turned up, I started getting attacked, but I'm not welcome here. This isn't, that's, you know, Bruce. you can't just break into somebody's house and not expect to be fucking elbowed in the head for it. You know what I mean? I kind of feel like I get it. You know? Ben, thanks so much, dude. Thanks for the gifted sub, man. Thank you very much. Batlion214. State your business. You've been gifted a sub. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Murder? You want me to murder everything. You wanted me to murder a a kind, regular old merchant in the undead burg, might I add, for a katana, which I never ended up using. That was like 40 hours ago, all right? I, I want to see what this boss is, but no, I didn't murder the moss merchant. I accidentally gave a stab. She's still alive. I don't want to miss an entire boss fight, that's the thing, but, like, it does feel kind of... I didn't realize she had a tail, alright, you gotta go, sorry. I'm sorry, you gotta go. Bruce! I don't make the rules. <laughs> I don't... I, look, I don't make the fucking rules around here. You do. GameTube, thanks so much, man. Thank you for the for the two gifted subs. Congratulations, anybody who got Bruce. one. Thank you for the generosity, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, dude. She just disappeared. She she knew she knew what was coming. Bruce. This is very ominous. Can we get to the uh, the fighting, please? All right, we're gonna do this, are we? Wait, is she invisible? Oh my god, the feet are the key. This is insane. What? They knew everybody's attention would be on the feet. So they straight up incorporated it into the process that you need to beat the boss with. These fucking dudes are something else. These guys are something else. They are on something else when they make these video games, I'll tell you that much. That is insane behavior. I'm, I'm actually astounded by that. 
I don't even know if I'm doing damage here, but... Oh, there we go. Crossbreed Priscilla. Alright. I still feel like we're kind of doing the wrong thing here. O on another playthrough, I probably wouldn't do this. This just doesn't really feel like... That didn't feel right at all. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. That was really bad. I feel fucking terrible. That was such a terrible thing to do. That's actually like the worst thing that Brian's done. I don't know why I would do that. That, that, that boss did not deserve that at all. I'm really questioning, I'm really questioning my, uh, my motives there. That was fun, but in reality, that isn't snow. Oh. What is it then? Salt? Oh, that's ashes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah that's, de that's definitely ashes. I don't know why I didn't pick up on that. That's, uh, th these are people. These are, these are burnt people. Right, right. I, being Dark Souls, I probably should have picked up on that at some point. I didn't, though. Like, ever. So. Jesus Christ. All right, well. Oh, well, now I don't have to feel so bad. If she was responsible for that. Oh, yeah, she's done infinitely worse than I have. We're good. We're in the clear. I can sleep tonight. Brian's conscience is pristine, clean, and ready to go. Uh, thanks for the 100, by the way, Dom. Thank you for, you know, giving me that re revelation, I guess. Brian Murphy with the mental gymnastics. I don't really think we're doing too many flips and tumbles to assume that if this is her domain and her domain has ash all over it of uh, clearly fallen people. I, I don't think we have to do too many flips and tumbles to get to the conclusion that maybe she wasn't the, the nicest uh, individual. Let's read her bio. Soul of Priscilla, the crossbreed, trapped inside the painted world of Ar Ariamus. Uh, that's it. That's all we get. Use the soul of this crossbreed bastard child and antithesis to all life to acquire a huge... Jesus Christ, what a scathing biography. My goodness. Use the soul of this crossbreed bastard child and antithesis to all life. Like, if you, you only write that about someone if you really fucking hate them. That's wild. Like, that's, that's, there's venom in those words. That might be rough translation from Japanese. I feel like I get the idea. See you later, digital. Thanks for dropping in, dude. You're, uh, you're sleeping at the right time. I'm gonna call it there. That was good progress. I didn't expect us to get through whatever this painted world was in, uh, in one go, but we did. We brute forced it. All right. Damn, okay, that was definitely worth. I'm really glad we didn't go through the game missing that. If I hadn't have been told that it was possible for me to get back to the asylum, we never would have encountered that, so that was crazy. That's, yeah. God damn. I, it kind of sucks that you can, you know, completely miss that, but also makes it cooler when you find it, I guess. Oh, these guys are dedicated. Oh, these guys are painfully dedicated. They lost some of their reinforcements, but the dedication is not to be fucked with. He died with an Estus flask in his hands. That's how everybody wants to go. There is one more boss? Wait, what? Really? Well, I guess it doesn't matter if you tell me because I definitely would have missed it, so... Hit me with it. You gotta kill Boob Lady? I'm not killing Boob Lady, and it's got nothing to do with the... Got nothing to do with her chest, either. That, that would just be sadistic. Like, she gave me the ability to... 
uh, fast travel. Like... Do you want to know why you should kill Boob Lady? No, because at the current moment, I don't have any reason to kill Boob Lady, so I'm not going to do that. That feels silly. Like, that's the equivalent of you just telling me to go back and kill the merchant in the Undead Burg who's just selling his wares innocently. Just so I can get the katana. I'm not doing that. Kill Boob Lady or go back to Skeleton Place and find a ring somewhere in the dark? Alright, I feel like I'm getting too much information. Is it... Is it cool enough that it would be a crime to miss it on your first playthrough? Because at, at, at this point, I'm basically using a guide. I basically have an interactive guide in the chat. But if it would be an absolute crime to miss it... Oh, but I have to go back through the dark and shit? <laughs> yeah. At least visit boob lady? I bet it gets lonely. Why are you calling her an it? Jesus. Um, alright, I think I'm gonna leave it there for today. I don't want to push my luck here. We've made some great progress. I'm not in a rush to finish this game. You know, I don't want to leave this game. I don't hear great things about Dark Souls 2. I want to stay here for as long as possible. I'm really enjoying myself. Uh... You know, like, I, it's going to be a shame when we leave this game, so I'm not in a, any sort of rush. Uh, I will level up one more time, though, depending on... Yeah, we actually have enough right now, so that's good. All right, we'll chuck it into uh, Endurance again. Get that Endurance up to 30. Don't worry, the DLC will keep you here longer. Is the DLC considered difficult? DS2 is good, trust. You're the only person I've seen say that, Sanhan. I'm going to put my blind trust in you. I've decided. Hardest part of the game? Really? See, I've never done a Souls DLC before, so I'm not really familiar with their scaling. Because, like, I never did the DLC for Bloodborne, despite being told that it's amazing. I just never got around to it. Um, hardest bosses in the game? Alright, I'm looking forward to it. As I said, I'm in no rush. To leave this video game uh but for now i will call it because we made some good progress there the painted world thing has really solidified this as one of my favorite games of all time i think like obviously that in culmination with everything else but the amount of like just genuinely awesome shit that is in this game is uh it's it's constantly impressive constantly there's really no like, there's, there's areas that I would like to never play again, sure, but there's really no point in the game where you're not discovering something new, learning something new, like, you know, uh, trying to overcome a problem. You're getting introduced to all these vastly different looking areas, and the way that the areas operate is completely different. Um, and then you've got, on top of that beautifully crafted cake, you have all of this icing that is, like, secrets easter eggs you know law that's kind of left up to interpretation um or just yeah you know all the sprinkles on top all the icing it's beautiful stuff it's unbelievable i could probably never get tired of playing this game honestly it's it's been a pleasure it's been a beautiful time uh like i'm trying to think is there anything this game really does wrong and i think I, like, besides maybe a few... I, I think the skeleton wheel guys are genuinely fucked up, considering there's no way you can escape their thing once they once they get you caught. But, like, four-way rolling? Yeah, I guess, like, the lock-on thing, and then having... Yeah. But just from a, like... Hip, uh, the hitboxes are, are fucked up, I will say that. Okay, that is definitely something that I'm looking forward to the other games brushing up on, because from memory... I never really had a problem with it in uh in uh in Bloodborne. They could definitely brush up on that, so I'm looking forward to that being improved, but certain quality of life things that get smoothed out. Yeah, besides quality of life though, like some runbacks are a little crazy. You have to wonder if it's by design though, because they they they're aware of what areas are pinch points for people, right? 
Um, don't worry, Dark Souls 2 makes it worse. Yeah, I, it, it is a little bit of a shame. And I wonder if it does put some people off. I mean, you can just skip it if you want, but it's like... Dark Souls 2 definitely seems to be a giant misstep for most people. And it's, it is a shame that it's like smack bang in the middle of the series. It's not like their first game was like a misstep and then it all gets better from there. It seems you've got this unbelievable high with Dark Souls 1 and then this giant step down from Dark Souls 2. Again, based off what people say, I haven't played it, so I'm, I might have a completely different opinion, but a giant step down and then a, again, like a, a crazy high with Dark Souls 3. Um... Isn't Dark Souls the only Dark Souls game not directed by Miyazaki? Isn't that Dark Souls 2? Yeah, Dark Souls 2. Yeah, that, uh, that's what I've heard. That they changed, like, the lead creative guy behind it. Um, which would obviously, you know, change a lot about the game. The, the thing that I'm really worried about with Dark Souls 2 is... Um, the artificial spiking of difficulty by just placing tons of enemies into a level. Like, that's the thing that I've heard repeated through the years a lot. And uh, the lack of interconnectedness as well apparently is a letdown for some people. But uh, who knows, man? Like, I might play it and just something will click for me that doesn't, you know, resonate with most people. I, I'm, I don't know. You know, it's all down to individual opinion. So maybe I'll jump in and be like, what are you talking about? But there are a few areas in this game where, like, there's been... They've just chucked about 14 dudes of the same variety into a room and just been like, difficulty fucking have it take it or leave it right and if that's like a common th through line throughout dark souls 2 that would be pretty disappointing but what can you do we'll see i'm keen to play it either way as long as they still have like a sick atmosphere you can make your own dude make your own class the combat's still satisfying i mean it can't be the worst game on the planet right um interconnectedness is basically only in dark souls 1 I mean, Bloodborne had it as well. Unless they... Unless you just mean for the Dark Souls series in general. Um, and yeah, the, in a similar way to how we played the Arkham games and built up from Asylum to Night, I feel like this will be a similar situation where we're kind of building from Dark Souls 1 to Elden Ring. Um, and hopefully we can get there before the next, you know, Souls game comes out. Uh, Bloodborne isn't as connected as DS1? No, it's it's definitely not, especially not in the micro, with like, like Dark Souls 1 does it incredibly well. But uh, still, D Bloodborne has like the, you can look at a, a physical representation of the map and you can see like everything sort of wraps into itself. Not everything, but you know, as long as there's some of that. Um, I am very surprised by how well this game is layered though. It's really impressive i don't even know where you would start trying to design something like that it'd be the biggest headache like i'm so impressed by that uh but anyway enough rambling thank you everybody thanks for uh, a lovely stream as always been having a great time um thank you uh salmon for the 14 months thank you for the prime thank you leo thanks for the prime dom thank you for the various hundred bit installations Appreciate the generosity, man. Thank you, uh, Ben. Thanks for the 500 bits. Thanks for the 300 bits. And the further 300 bits. Ridiculous. Thank you for the support, dude. Uh, and thanks for the gifted sub as well. Congratulations, Batlion. Uh, thanks, GameTube. Thanks for the, uh, the two gifted subs. And thanks again, Dom, for the 100 bits. Insane support. I hope I can uh, make it up to you with some entertaining stuff in the, uh, in the coming weeks and months. Uh, seriously, thanks guys. That's kind of insane c considering I'm playing like a, you know, game that is not really attached to what I've been doing over the years. So that's very nice of you. I appreciate it. Um, all right. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully with some Telltale Batman. If my brain is in full working order tomorrow, we're good to go. Uh, and I'll try and be, you know, on time as well. Uh, okay. Thanks everybody. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.